the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So more of the beats, the better you feel. Hey, it's Riley the Forest. What do you think she's talking about? Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk a little <laughs> bit about um, pulses. Okay, so we're talking pulses. Once again, Riley is, is a student with Hamilton Public Health, and this is her final project, much like Sarah was last half hour. Yep. And So you've got the difficult topic of discussing pulses because there's beans and gas. Yeah. So, so how do we, when we're working them into our diet, how do we avoid the tooting part? Well, there's some easy ways to do that. So first of all, you want to start small, so about a quarter to half a cup, which is what we have here, and then slowly increase your way to a portion size, which is three quarters so of a cup. So this is every meal? Well, for a meat serving. So if for you're going to replace a meat with this, you need three quarters of a cup. Because what, what's what creates the gas in these beans? Well, it's the um, undigestible carbohydrates. Um, so they're hard for your body to digest, so then you get some unwanted side effects going on. Yeah. Um, so starting small, drinking plenty of water, and then there's some tricks you can do when you're cooking in, uh, with the beans. All right. So we're going to show you one of the ways to kind of reduce those unwanted side effects here. So we're making a black bean salsa today, right. and I'm just going to get you to start by rinsing these out. Rinse it. Okay, so dumping them in here. Yeah, perfect. Don't shake it too much. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Uh, and just rinse them with water, so that helps reduce some of the carbohydrates that are hard to digest, as well as a little bit of salt when you're using the canned beans. Now, if you are using the dried version of pulses, you want to make sure you soak them overnight ahead of time, rinse them thoroughly, and then remove any foam that forms on the surface when you're cooking them. That looks pretty good to me. Okay. Perfect. So if you want to pour these on in here, just going to mix it up to make our salsa. So it's nice and easy and colorful, so a great summer meal. So we have, yeah, you can add them in. Corn, tomatoes, a little bit of lime juice, and olive oil, and then some herbs and garlic in there. Perfect. So nice and colorful, nice and easy, as you can see here. And then it's also a very versatile recipe, so you can use it in many ways. So for example, here we've added it into a wrap. You can always use it to top a salad nice and easy like that. Or if you remove the corn, you can puree it into a nice bean dip. So this is... This is this we is just this. made yep. pureed into pureed that. but the corn was taken out is this just is pureed. this just for like look pretty purposes or can I actually try that you can try that because you made these too I made those too yeah so and this you can is also just pita chips that pita chips just cooked in the oven for about 15 minutes with a little bit of olive oil so you can always puree it and eat it like that or even eat it as the salsa whole and if you like a little bit of spice you can always add some jalapeno or a little bit of onion as well and the recipe itself is from the Cookspiration website We should say hello to your, your mom. <laughs> say hello to, hey mom. <laughs> her mom. Her mom's in Ottawa, and um, she's going to be posting this video on Facebook to all her Facebook friends. Great mom. <laughs> <laughs> Love her so much. Uh, so that's pulses. That's pulses. Right? Okay, so and congratulations, because you, you, you and Sarah and, and Pat, thank you for having us here for Tito's. Um, we learned a whole lot more about pulses, because now, I always thought it was, this was pulses, but there's, there's so many two things. Versions. There's two versions of pulses. Yeah. And you can avoid this version, not smelling bad by doing things you just did. Exactly. I'll stop talking and, and eat just so I don't dig myself deeper. Go ahead. All right. Thanks, Riley.